A Novena to Saints Louis and Zélie Martin Ninth Day The Desire for Heaven But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body. Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21. Meditation The Martins always yearned for heaven. Every moment of their life was oriented toward this ultimate goal. St. Therese speaks of heaven, to which all their actions and desires were directed. This was the golden rule in the education of their children, as St. Zelie testified in one of her letters. When we had our children, we lived only for them. That was all our happiness. So I wanted to have a lot of them in order to raise them for heaven. St. Louis once said to two of his daughters, Yes, I have a goal, and my goal is to love God with all my heart. As for St. Zelie, she often expressed her desire to be a saint, to go to heaven. My mind no longer inhabits the earth. It's traveling among higher spheres. True happiness is not of this world. We waste our time looking for it here. The world is not our true home. Resolution Today I will offer God my whole past, and I will live completely in the present, full of trust and hope, because that is the way to achieve the goal of my life, to reach heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saints Louis and Zelie, you, who in your life as a couple and as parents, have given witness of an exemplary Christian life in putting God in the first place through the exercise of the duties of your state in life and the practice of the virtues of the gospel, we turn to you. Help us to have unshakable confidence in God and to surrender ourselves to his will, as you did in the joys but also in the trials, the sorrows, and the sufferings with which your life was marked. Help us to love God with all our heart, to persevere in our daily difficulties, and to dwell in the joy and hope that will give us a living faith in Christ. Intercede for us so that we may obtain the graces we need today and all the days of our life. Amen. Saints Louis and Zelie, pray for us. Amen.